This is our silver line drum sander. Uh, I'm fixing to show you how to correctly put your paper on. Uh, this is very important. This will save you from wasting paper. What you're going to do first to put your paper on is take your paper with the numbers facing towards you and you're going to bend it. You want to get it pretty precise because this thing's calibrated to do the perfect crease on it. You do that to both sides. After you finish doing that, you're going to flip your drum over with the 7 16 wrench, which we'll provide you if you need one. You're going to turn this square plate here. So you see this dot right here. Now you're going to take the other one going in the opposite direction. You were turning the other one down. This one's going to be turning up. So you see the dot on this one. Once you've got both the dots facing you like this, you're going to take your paper, wrap it around, kind of let the drum pull itself over to you. You want to make sure you line your edges up. Kind of squeeze it in there. Make sure you get it all the way wedged in there. Of course your papers, you have to work with it a little bit more. But it'll eventually go. Okay, once you've got that fit in there, what you're going to do next, you're going to take your wrench, and on the left one, you're going to bring it one quarter turn down, and on the second one over here on the right, you're going to bring it one quarter turn up. You need to make sure you do a complete turn up. Once you do that, you're going to take it, and you're going to feel and make sure you don't have any air pockets in it. If you have an air pocket in your drum, what basically what's going to happen is when it hits the floor, it's going to rip the paper off. So just want to make sure it's very tight, like where there's no air pockets here, and that's pretty much it.